At the Synagogue Church of All Nations live service, wise man Christopher ministers God's word and power to the people in the name of Jesus Christ. Under the check and conduct of the Holy Spirit, the wise man is led to pray for this lady who begins to undergo spirit deliverance from the yoke of Satan upon her life. Let's watch what happened next. Speak. Who are you? We are languages from the third and fourth houses. Pastors use us without discerning. We rule churches. Members, speak if you like. Try me. We are both babies. No one carries babies. And when we use that language, my friend, that pregnancy is gone. Far, far gone. When we touch your stomach, we rule. We take absolute control. We are pledges. Her ancestors didn't redeem. We go and come. As for our language, it takes mighty hands to take away. We easily give free of charge. You cannot send us away. You said you rule. We rule, yes, we, we rule. You rule. We rule. How do you rule? When we give languages, they don't understand. Instead of them to use their plain words to speak to God, they use languages that they don't understand. When they speak, we come, we descend, we descend mightily. She said she went for a prayer meeting. One of the members taught her how to speak in tongues. She didn't know it was fake. She didn't know it was fake when she carries pregnancy. We are bought. You say when people speak in different languages, they don't understand. Yes. You make use of this language to destroy them. How many of such people have you destroyed? And how do you carry out this destruction? Oh, when you speak, you invite us. We come to the church. Who are you people? Spirits from the third and fourth heavens. They dance around the kingdom of snake. Her surname is that of a royal python. The local one, they so-called call it Dagui, royal python. Her ancestors didn't redeem that pledge. They didn't. So the men, they humanize. The women, when you marry, one, two, three, you are sent out. And she thinks she wants to run to light. We saw her star, a star of light, big in darkness. We will not allow her to shine. She sees, she sees when she sleeps, thousand dreams. No one interprets because we didn't allow her to understand. How do you carry out your plan of destruction on those that speak in languages they do not understand. Explain. When they come, pastors, they speak, they don't even understand. They cannot discern. They are not of a good shepherd kind. So they will even place their hand on your tummy, praying for safe delivery, praying for you to carry that pregnancy safely. When we put our hands there, we take possession of the womb. How long have you been operating, you people? Long ago. Long, long, long ago. What have you done to her career? For her career, she's a good teacher. But when she's writing on the board, the last time I visited her, the children went out. And she was going to write on the board, homework. And she saw me laughing. She didn't mind. Do you know why? She was carrying that your sticker, whatever it is. She told me there's fire around her. What is in the anointing sticker from the Synagogue Church of All Nations? And what is in that is anointing water? Is it not water? fire? Is it not fire? If we come with fire, you will quench with water. She's always sleeping under her telly. We seek her here, seek her there. When we come, we can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. Why? That is how Why? you people have been tormenting you us. You say you can't. Why? How can we go near her? 
So one day, she forgot to pray. And when she was sleeping, we came. She refused to speak in tongues when she discovered we were chasing her and she spoke in tongues and we replied. Then she refused to speak. So we forced her that night to speak. When she spoke, we injected her leg. We forced medicine into her throat. And there's nothing here. What have you done to the husband? Oh, as for the husband, they handed over to we, the Supreme Authority. They Supreme did, Authority in where? Third and fourth heavens. So, we took control. When they take their salaries, it's nowhere to be found. How did you enter this body? Is it not dream and food? And then the ancestors, it was long ago. So, on we come, off we go. It's only mighty hands, mighty and strong hands that can take her away. Do you know that she's coming to Synagogue Church of All Nations where you cannot escape? I know you'll be chaining me. You seize me with chains. How can I escape? How can I? You demons. Jesus Christ is greater than the combined forces of hell and earth. You have no hiding place. Now go. The man of Jesus Christ. Come out of this body. Come back here. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Thank you, Lord. The man of Jesus Christ. The man expression. You must. Come out of this body. You principalities. Out. You must. Come out of this body. This is not your temple. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. You must. Come out of her. We will leave the womb. We will leave the womb. We will. We will. You have no option than to leave. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Dans la puissance du Saint Esprit, agir dans sa vie. Voilà. Comme ça, j'emmène son guérison, la délivrance dans la vie de cette femme. Possédé par cet esprit ancestral, vivant dans le quatrième ciel. Alléluia. In Jesus' name. Il a l'habitude de décevoir le corps de Christ en proférant. Sister, rise up. You are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Sister, how are you? I'm fine. What are you doing there? I'm relaxing. You are doing what? Relaxing. Could you remember what happened to you? No, I was just feeling dizzy. You say that you are demons operating in the thought and fourth heaven. No, I'm a human being. And you use speaking in tongue to initiate and to destroy people. Uh, I, 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 I went for a service. Then they asked us to receive a, a, a fruits of the spirit and things of the spirit. 
So people were praying thanks, and I told the leader that I have not received, so I can't speak. Then I slept and I dreamed a certain woman in the church of a high position. She was speaking and she asked me in the dream to speak alongside. So when I woke up, I told the leader and he told me that is it, so I should speak. So when I started speaking, one night people were chasing me and when I spoke, they re replied. But it was when I was pregnant that the pressure was coming to speak in tongues. I am not a demon. That demons that have made use of your body in the past is cast out and will never return to you anymore. Amen. So Thank you, are delivered. you Jesus. Follow Thank Jesus. He is the one that has set you free. Follow him. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered forever. Thank you, Lord. My name is Mrs. Bimpe Cornelia. The man beside me is my husband. We are from Ghana. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life. He delivered me. He saved my life. It all started when I was yearning to grow in the spirit. I was born into an Orthodox church. So in that case, we were advised that if you want to grow in the spirit, you should join the charismatic group. So I decided to join. When we joined, they asked us to go through Life in the Spirit seminar, where we'll be guided to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So in the process, we go on weekends. My family is Dagui, which in the English language is the Royal Python. So after I joined the Charismatic, that night that they prayed that we received the gift of the Holy Spirit, there were so many gifts mentioned. But when it was the gift of thanks, I couldn't receive. I was sad then, but I went to sleep. In my sleep, I saw one of the leaders in my dream who was speaking in tongues. So she asked me to speak as she speak, but I couldn't speak. So the next day when I woke up, I approached the Reverend in charge. So he asked me to speak what I heard and I did spoke in tongues. So he said, okay, I should take it up from there. That is it. So I started speaking in tongues. The next night I saw a big snake and the snake spoke to me in a language that I understood. In that dream, I, I got scared, so I woke up. But later on, I saw some strange women chasing me. So I, did, I decided to pray. But in my prayers, I realized it wasn't coming out. So I started every means just to run away from them. But in the prayers, I spoke in tongues, and these strange women replied me. And I got afraid. They also spoke spoke in tongues. I couldn't understand, but I woke up from the dream and I was very scared. But anytime I go to churches and I go for prayer meetings, I hear people speak the same language the strange women spoke to me in the dream. And anytime they are speaking, I feel some movement in my tummy. At times, I get these good pimples on my body. The job for church of God now is to come together and send out the strange people that enter church. Yes. That is the job. If not, I don't see the church grow again. The main job now for the church of God is to come together and pray, and send these strange people. Can't you hear what he said? He said, the next time he went into church, she started hearing the, the same language that strange woman. Everybody was speaking in the same church. Ignorantly, to, to flush out these people in the church. We have to pray to God, come together, 
it is not what one person can do, but body must come together and fast and pray. And this strange spirit enter the church and they have taken the prominent seat. The most prominent, they are not just ordinary, just a church member, but they are in a prominent work position. That makes it very difficult. Can you now say this sister is a foolish sister? He doesn't know what he's saying? Look at the beauty. Look at the appearance of the person that is talking. He you know what he's saying. You know, last time when issue of churches, uh, this, that was coming in, they say, is this church, is church of God, this one is church of God. No, name does not matter. What matter is the righteousness of God? What matter the Bible, which is our standard? The Bible, which is our standard, what matter what we are doing in the assembly? Tell your neighbor, what matter what we are doing in the assembly? The name assembly, the name church, does not matter. What matter what assembly they are doing? But not where you are, but what are you? You say, one is orthodox, one is this, one is charismatic, one is Pentecostal, one is this, one is that. Those names does not matter. What matter is what we are doing, the assembly, what they are doing. After I began speaking in tongues, I, I, I realized it was scaring me. In the night, when I step out, I can't look into the sky because I see snakes and strange animals coming out from the sky. Then in physical, I see snakes all around me. They chase me. People that died long ago that I knew, they were all around me and coffins. At times I'll hear strange voices that I will die, I will die. And I see myself being pushed in a, either in a grave or in a sea. And I couldn't bear it anymore, so I was looking for my deliverance going all about. Even when I was about to get married on the eve of my wedding, I heard the strange voices calling me, and I hesitated, so they started shooting arrows at me. I have to run quickly to the prayer center to sleep there. It was the same church that I was attending, that has this charismatic group. You are telling us now that the same body, the same church, now form a charismatic, isn't it? Yes, man of God. Okay, we want you to put more light from how they form charismatic, how you, you are growing, how you acquire this speaking in tongue, and how you receive it in the dream, and when you met minister, our minister encouraged you. It was that night that they prayed that we should receive the fruit of the Holy Spirit that I couldn't, but I was sad because the reverend in church told us that one of the easiest gifts to receive from the Holy Spirit is the speaking of tongues. So I was sad and I went to sleep. But in my dream, I saw one of the leaders and she was asking me to speak after her in the dream. But I couldn't speak in the dream. So the next day, I went to the Reverend and I explained my encounter in the dream to him. Okay, in that dream, you saw one of the ministers. And, yes. and he said to you, in that dream, you should speak after her. But in that dream, you could not say it. No, I couldn't say it. But now you woke up. And I asked the Reverend. Physically? Yes. And he asked me to speak the way the woman did. And I also did. I did speak in tongues. And he was like, okay, that is it. Begin from there. You will grow in it. The day I spoke to him, it was just a short one. But later on, I realized it was becoming very lengthy. I couldn't stop it. The edge keeps coming. Even when I'm pregnant, that is when the edge comes the more. And by the time I realized, I miscarry when I'm pregnant. How did you now know that what you are doing is wrong? 
Speaking in turn, the one you were saying were not from God, but they are from pit of hell. How did you know? I realized it when I was being chased by strange women in my dream. And I was praying. The actual prayer wasn't coming, which was in a plain language. Then suddenly the speaking in tongues came and it was bold. So the women in the dream replied me in tongues. That was when I got scared. And when I went to churches, I hear pastors and other prayer warriors pray in the language and I get frightened. That was when I realized it was fake. Since last week, the egg that have been delivered, I don't have the urge to speak it anymore and I sleep soundly. What are your dreams? At times I dream I'm in the chapel working with you or I'm somewhere teaching children. Why should the Libran flush out that tongue? If that tongue is from God, the deliverance should enhance it. That means it's not from the same source. 90% of us, we speak what we don't understand. And what we cannot stand to say is from this place, is from that place. Ask your neighbor, are we actually saved? But my you, there is true tongue from heaven. There is speaking in tongue from where? From heaven. But how do we know? Ask your neighbor, how do we know the one from God? The one from God will give you comfort and peace. If that tongue is from God, it will first of all work on you. So before you can begin to work on others, the Bible says you are saved to save others. Tell your neighbor. You are saved. It's not possible for someone who is not saved to begin to save others. You will first of all be saved before you can now save others. Out of abundance of war, the war. It is what you carry, what is inside here, that you speak out and give to others. And you cannot give all what is here. You just give out of it. It is not possible to give all you have. You give out of it. And the person will not be the one to build on it by steadfast in, in the law. Are you with me? So I will give you out of this, out of many here, I will give you. When I give you, you will not stand for God. From there, you will begin to build on it. So it's not possible for someone who will speak in tongue and he will now face bitterness, pain, Bitterness, pain, and keep speaking it on. That is to tell you that, look, this one is from pit of hair. Emmanuel. My name is Ali Bimpe. The woman standing by my side is my lovely wife. I am here to thank God for what he has done in our life by delivering my wife and also to confirm that all that she said were true. We got married about three and a half years ago, and th there the problem started. We never sleep in our room in the night. She's always seeing things in the air. Anytime she sleeps, she always wake up with a terrible dream, seeing dead people. You mean when people are together, even at home, she always speaking this language? Yes, she does sometimes. She has been seeing dead people in her dream, and sometimes people drawing her into water or a grave, and other smaller, smaller demons. So thank you very much. I want to meet the family. I want to be part of your family. So thank you very much. Nous allons entendre la confession de cette jeune femme qui a été affligée avec un faux parler en langue. Cela a commencé lorsqu'elle a été affligée dans son rêve. Vous l'avez vu, deux femmes lui demandaient de répéter le parler en langue. Lorsqu'elle s'est réveillée en demandant à son rêve, elle lui a demandé de répéter ce parler en langue. Elle a commencé à parler ce faux parler en langue. Cela l'a affligée. Elle a vu beaucoup de démons dans sa vie, beaucoup de mauvais rêves, des démons physiquement et aussi dans ses rêves. Cela l'a affligée beaucoup. Nous avons vu sa délivrance. Elle a été délivrée complètement. Maintenant, on va écouter le prochain témoignage. 
there is tongue, speaking in tongue, but there is fake one. But how will you know when you don't know what you are saying? If I'm talking, when I don't know that God is the one talking through me, how will I know that it's not from Satan then? It is when I know that what I'm saying is from God. That is when I can also believe that it will do what I ask it to do. But when I say something and I don't know that what I'm saying is from God, definitely any creature can have access to it. If I'm talking to you, it can be manipulated. When you say something, cha 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 cha. This cha 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 cha, where is it from? Is it cha 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 from God? 